Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about a use program related to method reference. Especially this video will explain how many types of lambda expressions are going to created by the method reference internally. As of method reference topic, I already discuss and already I given a more information related to a method reference in the previous videos that is whenever we working with the method references internally every time method reference will create one anonymous function that is what lambda that means whenever we providing implementation for functional interface methods by using method references internally method references uses the concept like a lambda expression then how many lambda expressions are going to created by method references on top of which basis that we are going to discuss in this video. Let us start. Now, observe here there is one interface like i in the interface I make it as functional interface how can I by writing by writing one annotation that is functional interface. Now, let me take let me take one method like a public abstract void m1 method. Now, observe here next one I am taking one class like a now there is a method like public public void test method public void test method. Now, carefully observe if our method already in the previous video I told you if you want to use logic of the existing method as a implementation for functional interface method definitely we should choose the concept like method reference ok. Now, this existing method return type and a parameter should be I am talking about test method return type and a parameters should be same as what here functional interface method. Now, here functional interface I am taking as what wide and parameters are what 0 here also I am taking test method return type as what wide and parameters are what 0. So, like this if you have a exact match then only we can able to develop what here method reference concept. Now, system dot out dot println let me give you one small uh, logic like that is implementation for m1 implementation for m1 of i. So, this logic become a implementation for m1 method of interface i. Now, let me develop on a, a method reference on method reference on top of what here test. So, test is the non-static method. So, how can we communicating with the non-static data by creating an object and a double colon or colon colon calling which method test method do not write what here open and closed parenthesis only we should uh, end it with what your method name that is enough. Now, whenever we writing like this whenever we writing like this what happen this m double colon operator internally creates one lambda internally creates one lambda how it is looks like how it look like very simple open and closed open and closed parenthesis and lambda operator and open and closed curly braces and it is ended with what your semicolon. Here, do you have any parameters? No. So, our lambda also does not having any parameter. And do we have written type? No, that is what we do not have what here written statement. So, whatever the lambda which is creating by the method references that is uh, same as what here our functional interface abstract method. Okay. Now, here I am calling like obj dot m1 method then what happen here automatically we will get output like uh, implementation for m1 of i clear. Now, for example, for example, let me take let me take one more functional interface let me take one more functional interface let me take one more functional interface that interface name is what here j and method name is what here m2 which is having parameter like what int x. Now, observe here let me take what here b here let me take b. Now, clearly observe now I am taking j obj 1 equal to j obj 1 equal to new b new b my this is what your test 1 let me take as what your test 1. Now, test 1 is the non-static. 
so we should take object basically this is we can called as these are we can called as reference to non static method simply we can say non static method references okay now test 1 this is what here test 1 now we got error what is that error observe here intentionally i written error what is that the type b does not define test of int nothing but whatever the parameter we have the same parameter we need to take here also yes now what i am writing here this is m2 this is implementation for m2 of j m2 of j now let me check whether the value coming to this x variable or not x variable or not how can i call obj1 dot yes this uh, test 1 becoming implementation for m2 so here i am calling m2 here i am calling m2 and pass, passing what here r we sending what here 1 2 3 now 1 2 3 1 2 3 will go and place it into where x will go and place it into where x why exactly 1 2 3 will go and place it into x we are providing implementation for m2 method by using what test 1 by using what here test 1 okay now this 1 2 3 will go and place it into the x later finally implementation for m2 of j 1 2 3 will executing so in this time what type of lambda expression is going to created by what type of lambda expression is going to created by method references int x int x open and closed parentheses in the bracket int x and this is what here lambda operator and open and closed curly braces and after that ended with what here semicolon this is what wide wide and zero argument lambda wide and zero argument lambda zero argument lambda wide and zero argument lambda what about the, the second lambda expression the second lambda expression is wide and wide and argument wide and argument lambda this is first one is wide and zero argument lambda second one is what wide and int argument lambda yes now what i am doing here is what i am doing here is let me copy this code let me copy this code let me copy this code and paste here then there is an interface like a k and the method like what here m3 the method like what here m3 now here i am taking one class like what here the c and here i am taking one interface like a l and class like what here d and here i am taking method name like a test 2 and here method name like what here test 3 and this is what here m3 for what m3 for what k m3 for k m4 this is what here i j k l okay now carefully observe guys now in this time let me take k this is what int and test 2 i am taking as what here wide okay now l this is what here int now observe clearly observe in the interface l let me first talk with the k in the interface k there is an abstract method like m3 i want to provide the implementation for this empty method by using what method reference so method reference means i want to use the existing method i want to use the existing method as a implementation for what m3 so we need to reference this method as a implementation for what this m3 then how can i very simple let me write like this k obj2 equal to k obj2 equal to new c colon colon test colon colon test 2 now it will giving error why it will giving error here c is void test 2 type is what here void already we discuss intentionally again i am writing wrong syntax here previously i done wrong syntax why to show if the m2 method having int my test 1 is also having what here int type now here my m3 method having int we need to we need to write here what here int here now whenever we writing like int so we should give what here written statement now what happen this test 2 will become a 
implementation for m3 no see the error do you have any error no no what i'm doing in this time i'm calling obj2 dot obj2 dot m3 now m3 method i'm calling m3 method calling m3 method means indirectly which one is going to call this test 2 is going to call so which statement is going to execute implementation for m3 k and what it will returns triple 3 will returns what i'm going to do that triple 3 i'm going to print I'm going to print system dot out dot print ln obj2 dot m3 now i'm printing now what implementation for m3 k triple 3 now the last one so in this time what type of lambda created by the method references very simple zero argument and lambda expression and what is this return sum into value return sum what here into value this type of lambda is going to created by what method reference last one what is the last one here observe here l obj3 again i done some mistake your parameter is what int here is also we are taking int now here return type is what int here we need to take what here int only now once we taking int here we need a return statement like 4 5 6 m4 method let me take this is m4 method now how to provide the implementation this m4 method by using method reference object very simple m4 is the non-static then i need to create an object for what I need to create an object for what class like new d colon colon what is the method test 3 test 3 now what i am doing obj3 dot m4 method what i am passing 789 now whenever we passing 789 internally m4 is the part of what m4 getting implementation of m4 getting a logic as a implementation of which method test 3 method so 789 will go and place it into where x x okay that's 789 printed now what it will return 456 what i'm going to do that 456 i'm printing so system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln obg dot m4 of 789 then observe here both the values are going to printed 789 and 456 so in this time what type of lambdas are going to created by method references internally int x and what it will returns return some into value so this type of lambda is going to created by what your method reference basically based on the method method prototype only method prototype only or method signature without a method name our lambdas are going to created by method references one more time i am repeating internally method references uses lambda expressions to providing implementation for functional interface methods this is the in detail program related to method reference. I hope you understand this program. For more videos, please subscribe to Naris IT channel. Thank you.